They have long said that Tesla is not a company, but a dozen startups wearing a trench coat, sneaking into a movie all together in one as if they're going to save a bunch of money. And they do. Uh, but I've got Herbert here because Herbert's made some really smart investments throughout the course of his life. And I've got some questions for him about which of those companies makes the most sense to buy, sell or hold. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. <laughs> Herbert, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you, Brian. This is a fun topic. It is a fun topic. So the idea is, uh, now you invested in Apple, you invested in this little company in California called Tesla. You've had some <laughs> some, some wins in your days. Uh, so, so, and if one of these companies was spun out from Tesla, you would own shares. Anyone who owns Tesla would own shares. So the question is, would you sell them, hold them, buy some more? So let's just start with Semi, buy, sell, or hold. I would not buy into semi. <laughs> so if if they spun out and you've got shares, would you sell them or hold them? If I had shares of Tesla Semi, the new mm -hmm. company, mm -hmm. Semi, I would sell it. Uh, you know, for me, it's a it's a it's a very obviously. Every, I just don't think it's a massive business. Like it's it's okay. big business. It will do very very well. It's going to take over the market. There's no other competitor. I just saw a table uh, from. Um, from Brian Wang yesterday, and he showed me a full analysis of the Tesla Semi against all of the other competitors of semi electric vehicle semis and all the comparisons. And there's no doubt the Tesla Semi is so much better in so many ways. So they're going to win this market. But for me, the Semi is, I just don't think of it as this, as this you know, massive, massive business. It's going to be successful. You will do well with your investment. But when I've got an investment like Tesla robots, uh, I would sure. put it in there versus this one. So that's okay. the hard part is like, am I comparing this? Am I looking at this based on just this business alone? Of course, it's going to be a very successful business. Um, and I, I, you think about how fast could they take over. And right now, I'm kind of concerned of how slow the semis are being built. And if mm -hmm. it was spun off and they had good funding and it had its own factories and they were going to show me that they're going to be able to create these semis very, very fast millions per year if as fast as possible then i can see this being a good investment for the next several years but right now i'm seeing something for some reason it's a slower uh pro process so that needs to be convinced got it what about uh if they spun off a powertrain supplier business buy sell or hold so this is licensing so this would be uh, or manufacturing auto, parts for others maybe does it include the software? If it's powertrain, again, I would not. I would not buy into that one. Um, again, you, would, you would sell those shares. Things. Yeah, okay. huge business, massive business. But again, I prefer the low, high, sure. lower margin software business. And if they punt, they launch that one. That's the one I'm going to go in all, oh, all, all in. Yeah. Oh, we'll get to that. What about their sales and service network? The their their dealerships sell. I would. Not, I mean, I would not uh, buy into that. Uh, infotainment, like their app store and whatnot? If it was just infotainment by itself, I wouldn't. Uh, but if it was infotainment as packaged as part of all the software, like see the operating is the Tesla operating system inside, that one for sure I would get involved with because it's all about the data. Now, as we move towards robo taxi, this infotainment thing could really be massive, right? It's like this is what Apple wanted to be, Apple inside, because, right, everybody's sitting there. You can see the whole car is all, all monitors, and you're basically controlling the operating system. So it would be as big as a mobile phone. It will be as big as the Internet PCs. Uh, you know, you're getting so much uh, time. So that one I might, yeah, I might actually hold that one, and I might actually buy into that one, yeah. Okay. Um, and, and the OS, if they were to sell OSs, that's a whole new business? Yeah. You would Absolutely, buy. right? For right. sure. I mean, right. the OS is, uh, is, is uh, it's like everything, right? It's not only, it's like the data that they are able to capture. I'm sure that that will come along with insurance will be part of that. If they sell the OS, they control the car, they're able to, um, you know. This, so part of that infotainment system, if it's, if it's part of the app store, like as, you know, like when you drive up to a, a fast food place, the car itself would buy you the food <laughs> uh, because yeah. it's all automated, you know. You know, that's there's so much revenue that can happen when you open your mind strategically of what can what this could represent. So huge, huge sure. opportunities. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. Chip design. 
I don't know much about chip design, um, and I know that uh, you know that Tesla decided to do this in-house, and they probably rival um, other chip designers. But I don't know enough about this. I don't know, you know, yeah, who the competitors are. Like, why would sure. Teslas be more competitive? Well, Tesla, when they create their own vertically integrated design, it's it's obviously um, you know bespoke, right? It's made optimized for their use. And then when they release it like that, I just don't understand who else would would want to so, buy this other so, car manufacturers, or can it be used for anything? It, well, it's chip design. If it was spun off, they would start doing graphics cards and AI cards, and who knows? So yeah. would that be a buy, sell, or hold? I would hold that one, yeah. Okay. There's tremendous potential. I just don't know where it's going to go. AI. <laughs> buy, buy, sell, or hold. I think I know the oh, answer on course. this one. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna buy, yeah. buy, buy. You're gonna buy, buy, buy. Uh, yeah, what I was very, very excited about about the AI was, you know, the concern was that, you know, why did Elon create a brand new company X dot AI instead of just using Tesla? Because Tesla has the supercomputer, they have all the neural networks, they've got all this fancy technology that they've been showing off. Um, they are the leader in AI for real world AI, right? And then why would they create X AI separately? And then he explained it, right? He said that the reason he had to do that was so he was trying to convince uh, to hire people to Tesla. But then uh, the, the smartest minds, they said, I want to work at a startup. I want to own massive shares in this company. And so he was kind of uh, forced to create XAI. So I still think that Tesla's AI is going to be massive and it's going to be part of the whole equation. And I think the XAI is going to use Tesla's supercomputer uh, so you you know this is the world, and not only is this the future of the world, uh, Tesla is the leader. So I would this is the thing that I'm most excited about. Of course, we all know that AI is going to be the thing. If what about uh, if they spun out FSD, not Robo Taxi, but FSD? Sorry, uh, what's the difference? What do you mean? Well, Robo Taxi is a physical network. FSD is software. In this in this well, situation, if they spun out FSD as something that that is developed and licensed, as opposed to Robo Taxi, where they physically own vehicles that are collecting fares. Oh, I would definitely buy this, right? So we've already talked about that. Um, you know, full self driving, the ability for a car to be autonomous, is massive. Now, I mean, my qu the question is like, why is it separate from Robo Taxi? Because it's not part of the network, but they'll partner with some network, right? I mean, they'll plug in to somebody. That's true. So what I'm going to put you down for is on in both cases, not only would you hold, but you would look to add some more. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's uh, big thing, yeah. Bots. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Of yeah. course. Of course. Well, and especially this if it was the, spun out today, it would be the bargain of the century. Um, yeah. In, uh, yeah. It, yeah, Go the ahead. use cases are just so uh, yeah. un <laughs> unimaginable, everything it could do. But even just the factories alone could be so big. And um, so, you know, I, I think I've, you and I have seen numbers and, and breakdowns of different business models of how people have calculated <laughs> how, how much uh, savings this would be for, sure. for companies to hire a bot versus a human. And so it, if they can do even just half of what humans can do, it's just hugely beneficial. So, yeah, I mean, this is the question is like, which one would you do first, Brian? Would you do AI or would right. you do bots first? Boy, between the two, I think I would do bots because I feel like I'd get a in on the ground floor. But I think they both have astronomical potential. The beauty that bots has over FSD is the minimum viable product you can ship mm -hmm. for a bot is very yeah. low. It's it the bar to entry into some market somewhere is very very low. It doesn't have to be level 5 perfect in an in an open world for it to be for it to be there. So yeah, for me, I think bots by the but boy is it close. Well, so there's a bit of a trick question, right? Because in order for bots to be sold, it has to have AI. It has oh, to have that. So you need to have three things. Um, Scott Walter and I have been examining all the different bots that are out there, and many of them are missing one or two of these three things, except for Tesla, right? It needs to have the AI. It needs to have um, hands with fingers in them, and it has the ability to walk. If it doesn't have these three things, then you can't really use it for the things you can you expect it to use it for. 
I, I would add a fourth element, which is manufacturability, because the most sophisticated right. bots out there were not designed for mass production. So yeah, bots, yeah. easy one. Uh, how about insurance? Well, so compared to these other ones, they're not as big of a deal. It's not exciting. Uh, I, I would actually sell it myself. Yeah, I would too. Uh, you know, I was very, very excited about Lemonade. This is a company that I'm actually, they bought Metro Mile, which is a company that I use as my insurance. And the whole thing about, you know, disrupting a legacy insurance companies out there. And we're talking about all insurance, not just car, right? We're talking about house. We're talking about all these other things. So right now, Tesla is, of course, only just car insurance. So I would not, that wouldn't be that interesting to me. Um, again, all these, it's funny because in individually, they're massive businesses, right? It's like, you know, it's going to take over three or four of these uh, auto manufacturers, uh, auto insurance companies out there. It will take it over for sure. There's no doubt about it. But <laughs> the, regula the regulatory uh, and just the whole, like it's so limited. Um, like where does it grow? Like when you invest in a company, you want to know that it can win a certain market, and then but then it has potential. You know, like the dream. Right. What happens when it finishes that? Where does it go next? Right. And uh, car insurance it seems limited, but where could yeah. you take that same technology and apply it to the next thing? And it, but if it's within insurance, then you're still bogged down by state by state regulations. I just don't yeah. see any excitement. I don't see, yeah, the same kind of headroom in insurance that I do in say even semi I'm vastly more excited about because not only could they become number one they could become number one by a substantial margin Tesla insurance is not going to dominate 30 percent of the market and you wouldn't want it to the at that point the risk pool starts to make less sense uh, uh, gotcha that makes sense yeah. supercharger network if that was spun out as a company would you buy sell or hold you know I wouldn't just because <clears throat> You know, so in one way you go, it's the same. It's like as if you're investing in the largest energy company in the world, like, you know, Exxon and the gas stations, right? That's a big business. But then I can see this, you know, they're going to get the, it's going to become a commodity is what I think will happen in the future. It's going to be a race to uh, price down. So you're going to get the energy for free from the solar panels. Then you're mm -hmm. going to charge every single car that drives up. So it's going to be as big as gas stations, every mm -hmm. single gas station out there. But it just feels like at some point this is going to uh, just be a race down. It becomes a commodity. Now, you know, and that's the other thing too. Like, you know, they'll say, well, they're going to attach, they're going to attach restaurants to it. There's a lot of ancillary business you can do. It's just not my thing. It's not yeah. my thing. I don't like local <sighs> restaurant businesses. It's just, I mean, obviously there's massive right. businesses that have succeeded, McDonald's and Subways, but <clears throat> just not my thing. So I'm, I'm more of the tech person, and so. How do you take the supercharger network and turn it into something more software and apply to bigger markets? If you were to try and sell me on a gas station 100 years ago, 50 years ago, and you told me that our biggest competitor is people making their own gasoline at home for a fraction of the price, I'd say not interested. You know, well, we have it piped in from the city at home for a dollar right. a gallon, or they can buy it from you for three. Not interested. I'm 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 going to sell those shares, uh, solar or shall we just say Solar City? No, and no. so again, I've heard that solar <laughs> is another commodity. Uh, solar farms, it's kind of like a once you build it, it kind of it just stays there, and then you keep improving it. And again, it's just another one where I can see the prices continue to fall to less and less profit over time. Um, just like Elon just said, right? He said that solar is the sun is the you know free nuclear power energy unlimited. So you get the solar to capture it, but um, yeah, I, again, I don't know. Yeah, I would sell that. And also, I haven't seen the progress I expected from solar roofs. Uh, I'm out. I'm out on that. Mm. Uh, stationary storage. So if mega packs today, and power walls. Absolutely. If it's today. A hundred percent, right? Me. Absolutely. I, because it's I like, would, yeah, yeah. Buy in as hard as you can. Hard as you it can. is the it, future. It's like nobody has one. Everybody needs one. Every place needs one. Every company, every person, every house, uh, every utility. Uh, or yeah. So right today, I would say, <laughs> markets unlimited at this point. So yeah, I would definitely, yeah. definitely get into that. Battery manufacturing. That. <laughs> 
battery manufacturing, as in to sell yeah. to other people. Not not interested. This is not my thing. Again, it's yeah. a hardware, right? If you're talking about hardware, it's really, really tough. I mean, when you invested in Tesla, did you invest in them because you thought that they were a hardware kind of manufacturer? Um, honestly, I did. I bought into them on the strength alone of Fremont and seeing that Shanghai was half done. And that alone, not the Cybertruck, not the Powerwall, not the solar panels. Um, but I expected it to outperform the market over 10 years. The growth we've seen is not because they built cars. It's because they've built computers on wheels with, with massive margins exactly. and have all these other things coming in. So yeah. why I bought is different than why I'm so excited to still be holding. Exactly. Uh, so that's what I, my point. The same thing you just said, right? I bought it not because if it was a hardware manufacturer, a, a pure, you know, car manufacturer, I'm not as interested because it's manufacturing, right? It's tough. Sure. Your, your your margins are really low. But if it's like you just said, it's a computer on wheels. That's the part that I saw. And I said, okay, this is different. And mm -hmm. the actual car is it's like a shell is what I saw, right? Like they didn't have a, it had the frunk, it had the, just a battery and that was pretty well it, right? It had the screen and that was it. It's not like the same thing as uh, the thousands of parts that, you know, gas cars have. And so that was like, okay, this is like really just a computer on wheels. Mm -hmm. Enterprise software, you know, they make all their own email stuff, their own apps. We were yeah. on, on your video earlier today, we saw that the, oh, well, we skipped that part, but the in Shanghai, when you go to place your lunch order at the 16 restaurants available on site, you use your Tesla app that is specific. I mean, enterprise software that spins out. Are you buying in, no, buying, I'm selling not. or holding? Would you hold or, or sell? I would probably not buy it at all. I mean, it's a... Uh, well, you'd sell. have some, so you would sell. Yeah. Okay. I would sell, yeah. So, I mean, I think enterprise software, I used to buy lots of companies that are a SaaS model with enterprise software. I would definitely get into those things. But again, I'm, my interests have changed over time. And now it's like, I want to pick the largest markets. That's it. Like when you've got the opportunity to invest in something that is an unlimited demand, unlimited market, why well, pick one that is really focused on companies and and you know the flavor of the day so i just not not terribly interested right now so uh, we're getting down to it there's only a couple left and they're going to get easier and easier mining and refining no now it's it's yeah. it is literally a commodity and they believe <laughs> they have a revolutionary method of extraction that's great um i haven't seen it i uh, am not sufficiently confident. General well, contracting. Said, yeah. Wait, wait. If you had said mining and refining in asteroids, well, that. Ah. <laughs> that's a gamble. <laughs> hey. But uh, like, there's apparently this one asteroid that's been defined, this, um, found that it has so much gold in it, or that, you know, if they can come in there and mine that and then come back and just totally disrupt the world, I don't even know what's going to happen. What would happen? <laughs> What you would use that but, for is getting it to Earth without um, destroying a city might be challenging. What you would use it for is uh, high-tech manufacturing on the moon or Mars. Because you could crash that into Mars and then just mine the scrap. Uh, general contracting. You know, they are very competent and capable general contractors for uh, large factories. Yeah. If that's spun out, yeah, I, I would also sell. Well, okay, wait. Are you talking about factory Factories well, there, service? There, there, so no, we no. Talk I, about this, well, right? we, but I, I mean the actual general contractors of, of physically building a physical building that... Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. Interested, yeah. Not, not, not interested. Not my space. But if Stationary, Tesla were yeah. going to sell their factories yeah. to let any company create anything and they sell that factory, that, that that's going to yeah. be revolutionary as well. So I'd be interested in that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, stationary HVAC. You know, for offices and yeah. homes and whatnot. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm not interested. interested. Again, hardware. And and the last one, and this is the highest margin business they have so far. Merch. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, that's. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So interestingly, you only gave a buy rating to one, two, three, four, so six, seven of the eighteen-ish on here, uh, and those were infotainment. OS, AI, FSD, robots, uh, 
robo taxi and stationary storage i i agree yeah. those are by far the strongest things outside of their automotive sector Awesome. Herbert, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your wisdom in this a wonderful hypothetical that will clearly not come to pass, but still <laughs> fun to think about and to remember all these things that are Tesla. My question for you in the comments is what would you, what are the two that you would actually buy and what are the two you would definitely, definitely sell? Let us know. And uh, for everyone else, you know, like, subscribe, do all the usual things, follow us, check out Brighter with Herbert because it's a great channel and I love it. And I love you too, Herbert. I love you, brother. Love you too, brother. Okay, so stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the next one.